G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, ready for first light on the uh, Rasso 8 Twins, and I cannot wait. Um, but there's one tiny challenge, and that is that, uh, well, I've come over to um, my parents' uh, place over here, and it's quite a, it's about two and a half um, hour drive from Adelaide, nice dark skies. Um, I love coming over here, nice and peaceful, relaxing by the ocean. But <laughs> they've got a, yeah, a huge veranda and, uh, and that kind of blocks facing south. So Tarantula Nebula could be a little bit too low, we'll find out. But the reason I'm also here shooting from the, the backyard instead of actually going out somewhere else um, is that it's very windy. And I'm trying to use um, the car, the house, the shed, and everything as a, as a bit of a wind block. So, a bit of a challenge tonight to see how the rasses hold up in the, uh, in the wind. Um, we've got wind gusts of about 30 kilometers an hour coming from the, uh, the east or southeast. Um, so, it doesn't help if it was coming from um, the west or the north, wouldn't have a problem at all. Um, big shed and uh, a lot of bamboo and everything on this side um, to block it all but it, it seems to be coming from the, uh, the areas where it's sort of most open um, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge but I'm super excited to see um, how we go with the twin rasses shooting um, the tarantula nebula as you guys have uh, requested um, Orion will be next as well as um, <clears throat> Deciding whether I have them both aimed at the tarantula or both slightly off, so that way I can shoot a, a nice, um, wide, detailed mosaic panel. Uh, yeah, a lot of questions, but we'll see if we can actually <laughs> um, point up over the uh, the large veranda we've got here. Um, but yeah, I'm waffling, so uh, let's get setting up, shall we? Well tonight guys, it's been what I think is an absolute fail. Um, <clears throat> I'm not familiar with a Skywatcher mount, yet alone the hand controllers themselves. I find them com completely confusing and um, so many steps to do one thing compared to a Celestron um, hand, hand controller and setup. Now those that are used to uh, Skywatcher um, obviously will feel uh, very differently about that. But um, I've been using Celestron uh, most of my life, so um, this is all fairly new to me. Uh, I can't get the ASI Air working with the um, EQ8 R Pro, and I think that's because I don't have an EQ mod. Again, Skywatch stuff I'm not too sure about. So, um, so that's uh, a couple of my issues. The other issue was um, doing a two-star or three-star alignment without any eyepieces or anything like that and having to just use the scope to try and find the star and, and that was a massive challenge so it probably took me about an hour and a half to two hours to try and get that part done along with trying to do the polar alignment with this software and I just don't like it at all um, the fact that it asks you to do um, a uh, altitude adjustment and then once you've done that a um, azimuth adjustment like 
I don't know, I'm just so used to the Celestron one where you point at the start, squeeze back, and then you adjust all the settings to get it back to the way I want, and then that's it, done. Um, so there's a lot more steps in the Skywatcher um, mounts I've found. Um, but in saying that, it's a damn good like, mount. It's just the software. I don't like the software in the hand controller. Um, but the mount itself, I love it. Anyway, so I've been having issues with... Uh, so with the tracking um, not being quite polar aligned I've got a fair bit of drift sort of happening it's uh, quite gusty it's calmed down a little bit now but it was quite gusty so I've only been able to shoot maybe 30 second exposures but over those two hours it's been drifting and drifting and drifting um, so look I'm gonna stack it all up and see how we go um, the uh, the things that worked fine was the um, the setup of my my rasses and being able to have them both targeted in on the same object so i've got them both exactly the same um on the tarantula nebula so fingers crossed we can still work with something again 30 second exposures i had to bump up the uh, the gain a lot higher than what i would like to um so i'm shooting it around 300 gain so that's quite high um but yeah so i don't know um I think it's a failure, but I guess in one hand you can sort of think and go, well, you learn a bit, you know, um, with the dual sort of setup and this mount. And, and what I've learned is I can't wait for my CGXL to arrive because I know for a fact that I can just plug one cable from the hand controller straight in the ASI Air and I can use the ASI Air perfectly without any problems um, with the polar alignment and with, you know, everything. Um, I just don't get it with the, the Skywatcher mount. So if any of you guys have a Skywatcher mount, please feel free to comment. Let me know what it is that I may be missing. Um, because again, I've just been shooting with Celestron pretty much my whole life. Um, since I've been shooting, well, since 2014 when I first started Astro. So, um, there must be something I'm definitely missing. Um, and yeah, so, uh. Let's hope the next night will be a bit better. Um, and hopefully that CGXL will rise real soon. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, um, yeah, that's it. So uh, I'm going to pack all this up and, uh, and call it a night. The moon's about ready to rise. Um, you know, so next weekend will be a moonless night. So if it's clear skies, I'll be out again. And, uh, and hopefully... I have some more bugs sorted out and we can get a full night of imaging done. All right. Well, I'll leave you with the image anyway. Um, and, uh, and let me know in the comments what you think. And, yeah. All part of Astro, eh? The fun. The games. Not every night's the best, but we'll get there. We will. All right. Well, until next time, guys. Take it easy. See ya.